Hi, this is Daryl. I'm Daryl. And this, and is, this pointless is Pointless Points, points to, ponder. to Ponder. Today we want to talk about pretzels. We want to give an endorsement of Dots Pretzels because I just discovered these a little bit ago when I was traveling looking for something to keep me awake while I was driving because I sometimes have that problem, falling asleep. Well, yeah, of course you do. I do too. So. I just got these. I got the yellow ones first. They're yellow flavor. Then later, just recently, I tried the red flavor, and red they're flavor. both really good. I don't think there'll be any debate about that. I think anybody that tries them will like them unless they don't like that particular color flavor. But what we want to talk to you about today, or tonight, well, I don't know when you're watching this, uh, but on this episode of Pointless Points to Ponder, and we want to share with you how we, to properly eat them, these Dots pretzels, because you won't find the instructions on the package anywhere. I don't think you'll find them anywhere on the internet either. So this is probably a, a first, a universe first. Universe well, I first. I don't know. I don't think aliens have They probably have don't them. have these, so yes, universe first. So, how to properly eat Dots pretzels. They're very flavorful, you need to remember that. You just need to understand that there's a lot of flavor to each pretzel. So really you can eat just half of a pretzel in one bite, like this. And there's enough flavor there, I mean that's, that's plenty, really. And the upside is, when you think you're done, you've got another half right there to eat. So it's there for you. Now, you can take the whole pretzel, you know, you can take the whole pretzel as yeah, a bite, that's enough. but you don't need to. But you can do a who one, you can, excuse me, but you can do a who one if you want, a whole one. Uh, there's much more flavor, too much flavor though, and you'll get a little too, little too much in there, and then you'll get more saliva flowing, so it's just a mess. That's what I'm saying, half is enough. It's enough flavor, enough content, so you don't feel like it's a wasted bite. Too much. It's too much. So the best thing to do, the best way to eat them, is to just take a half. Just about half of a time, at a time. Yeah, that works fine. And uh, then the other thing is, the upside to it's it. It's not really another thing because just the reasons I gave you are well, sufficient. Still, but serendipitously then. Uh, so you put your hand in there, in the bag, and you've already decided I'm gonna eat these half of the, at a time, and you're already committed to that. That's true. And sometimes there's breakage, manufacturing and shipping, things like that. Sometimes you might reach in the bag, and you think you have a whole one, but it's just a half. Well, if you've already committed to just eating a half at a time, you won't be disappointed. But if you're anticipating, uh, if, if you're needing a whole bite and you pull out just a half, see, it's not discouraging or, or frustrating if you are looking for the whole bite. That's just another reason if you're committed to a half, whether you get a whole bite or not. Right. And I've That's seldom seen good. them come out less than a half, so you're generally safe doing it that way, half. And it could be about half. You don't have to. You don't have to measure them. That would uh, just start being a waste of time. Unless you have an assistant or something that can go through the bag and mark them for you, so you can get an even half, or even accurately break them. And then you have a bag of halves, and it's that less trouble, more or less trouble, less trouble than that. But it doesn't have to be exact, but just about half. You can approximate when you put it in your mouth. And and your with your tongue, like I see, and you can pretty much tell when it's at half. You can approximate where half is. If it's a little less, a little more, really, that's you know you're not even going to notice that. Anyway, that is what we wanted to share with you today. Uh, we were sure that it would be helpful to you. And if you forget anything, if you forget how to do it, this video will stay here where you found it, so you can always come back to it for a refresh. Right. Right, if, if you see it again, or if you need to see it again, or need to hear the instructions again, we'll leave it right here online where you found it until the end of time. 
And you can share this too with your children and your grandchildren. And if you leave it some way in a message of perpetuity, uh, then your great, 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 great grandchildren, I mean, your descendants way on down the line, they can come back and find it so that they will know how to properly. That could be your legacy, that you have left this information for them for all, for all time. time. Like I said, we'll leave it here. Uh, it'll stay forever. It'll be here for you and for them. Well, that's it. This is Daryl. I'm Daryl, and this has been. And this is Pointless Points to Ponder. Even though I think there have been some points here to this one, it's still been Pointless, pointless points, points to Ponder. Point, 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 it's been Pointless have a Points good day. to Ponder. Have a good day. You too. See ya.